not gonna say his name. However, he doesn't need. He doesn't need. Dark the, Pit is the superior of the he two. Doesn't pits. need the clout. So he is definitely has a better matchup because he can probably kill Squirtle earlier now. So let's see how he does. All right, a lot of dash dancing. Dash dancing. He wants to keep his distance, as I mentioned before. He wants. He wants someone to get close to Squirtle because is he, Squirtle is he can, dead? Okay. No, he's not dead. What the? What he is can, happening he can, here? How is he? He's just how avoiding. How do you cycle him? through all the Pokemon in the first fifteen seconds? Uh, when you make a mistake, you need to recover. <laughs> yeah. But overall, yeah, you need. You see, LTV is just spacing, waiting for him to do something, and trying to abuse your. Uh, what is happening your here? Helix is. He might be having controller issues. I don't know. Is this a button check? I don't think so. Uh, I just think. He I think LT it looks like LTV is just leaving him alone. I mean, that's basically what you do against a Squirtle. You don't want to mess You're, with He's not playing Squirtle, he's playing Ivy. He's just standing still. Yeah, you also don't want to mess, mess with against Ivysaur because... I thought you wanted a button. I thought you wanted to just mash you don't. You don't mash against anyone against Speed because you don't have right buttons. You yes, just you do. You have Nair. You just try to break his song. You just have Nair. That's an auto-shield option. That's not a mashing. What do you mean? Nair is definitely an approach option. No, it's not have an Have you seen me play this character? See, look, he's doing it right. He's just no, not doing No, no, because right. he has no range. Now... Oh, he didn't full hop. That's so sad. Anyway, the, now... This is the part of the matchup that gets scary because he has superior range, better boxing tools, and he's harder. So. Yeah, and he can punish anything. That and you now, want to do baby cheek. Let's go, baby cheek. Baby cheek is going to enter the game. It stage. looks like neither of these players really know what they're doing at this very moment. At this point, he just wants to keep his distance. Okay. He just wants to wait for him to do something that punish to punish for. And Saibi, no. Back. Oh. All right, oh, just raw forward smash. You can't edge card Charizard. That's a mid, so don't try to do it. He does have it. So he's just lost. he's just been really patient, but he's going to get the backer out of the stage because LTV Charizard is so afraid can't to do anything, dude. I mean, this is a really a scary matchup because if you get hit once, like in the right way against Squirtle or Ivysaur, you get like eighty percent for free. And Charizard hits you once, and you're already at eighty. So. Yeah, I guess. And you don't have any ways to deal like damage back to them because they have a frame one escape option with down B, so you have most of, most of your setups are like not reliable. You have yeah. to read them. Um. However, he's waiting for an uh, for a situation. Up till kind of one of the most useless moves Pit has. Yeah, that move sucks. Is it only set for like nine games? He doesn't yeah. even set for like anything proper. Oh, you are holding shield for way too much, my friend. <laughs> that's, that's gonna shield poke. I'm really lost here. Uh, I feel like LTV is just afraid. He's like trying to get a feel for what I don't Helix think he is has any do. idea what he's doing in this matchup, dude. Uh, I mean, who who in heaven plays this? <laughs> that's that's true. So I, I think Helix is just trying to feel what the matchup is about and LTV is just afraid of doing most of stuff because Pete needs to be kind of passive most of the time. However, considering considering Helix, Helix is kind of playing also passive, I feel like LTV could go for a little bit more aggressiveness. All right, nice down Yo, air down into, into up smash. smash. Hey Hoover, what do you think about the PT pit matchup? Um, yeah. PT wins free, I'm told. Yeah, PT wins for sure. You just need to... The, the best thing you can do is be a better player. <laughs> yeah. Squirtle just kind of has frame data. Squirtle? Hit, but the only thing hit has so on yeah. PT is, is pretty yeah, I mean, not even off stage because if, if you want to get off stage and you want to edge card, you can just switch to Charizard and Super Armor is going to mess everything we have. Uh, so. Why is he holding shield for so long? Yeah, but. Charizard still has super, uh, no super armor, like a better hitbox than my downer or my nair, so he's go probably going to beat it. Uh, uh, Charizard I mean, is scary, bro. Funny enough, you can just down beat Charizard. Oh, nice read on that roll right there. I'll see if I bring this back. He tried it to go like the grab. He's playing a lot scary. Like, he's moving a lot more. He's. Uh, so, wait a second. So, so nair, no. He can't go into a combo because he's already a high percent. He can't edge card Ivysaur at that, in that particular position. That's going to be a Nair into upper. Upper oh again. God, he all these he needs to be careful. This might be it. He's having a terrible time right now. Helix is really just controlling everything. I thought LTV was coming back, but then he lost that stock and, you know, he lost all that. Yeah, that's basically up. what happens. He's oh, playing a lot more aggressive. Coming ah! down, double upper. Oh almost God. going for the up B. Dude, Ivy's up here is like the scariest thing in this game. He's like, really big and he's really strong, so he's really scary. <laughs> Oh, he didn't go for the. He didn't commit to the edge card. Charizard. Charizard is going to up at some point. Arrow to try to get out of the flamethrower. Oh, no, no. Oh he's in a terrible spot. He's in a terrible spot. That's going to be a backer. No, grab. He missed the grab. Full smash. Oh, I already committed to that. Uh, yeah, a backer will probably be the, the better option for yeah. Helix. But that, he just tried like to go for the grab. Probably to go for a forward throw. I don't play Charizard. Was that a kill? I don't know. Probably. 
Nice follow. You know, Ivysaur is probably. Oh, they're the real almost air dodge, but not the follow up with the DI. He's trying to get the Ivysaur like a cheese, but uh, LTV is just throwing circles around him and not allowing him to do that. Grab? Nope, he just thrown a shield. He's really afraid to commit to anything. And I. Ah! There you go! The down till into a beat. That was a very long game. Indeed. That was five minutes. Actually, six minutes. Jesus. Yeah, yeah because Pete. Has I mash with Pit. Pit so my has game's a like weird. Quick I didn't see a single side B. I'm so, very disappointed. Yeah, Pit. <laughs> so Pit has a weird property, in my opinion. He's really hard to kill. Even <laughs> though really he's even though kill. he's midway, a lot of moves that should be killing you don't kill you. So you end up being at like 140 percent most of the time. Yeah. See, I don't get that. Um, I don't get that privilege. Yeah, I I, I understand. But <laughs> I'm salty. Yeah, but you also have better range Lyla. and better moves. Actually, Lilat is one of the, is one of my favorite stages for Pete. They're going FD. So, do you agree with oof. this pick? Um, you don't have platforms to extend your combos. However, However, you have a better vortex game in this because they don't have platforms to retreat for. So you have they only have the plat the main platform to, to be there. You have multiple jumps, so you get more uh, value out of them because yep. they only have two. Um, and you have like better. Uh, you are limiting their options so you can read them better, which is basically what Pete is about because you don't have any mode. <laughs> you don't have many tools to be fun. <laughs> As you might know, I have a 16 page essay about why Pete is not good. <laughs> Please check it out. There is literally a 16 page essay about why Pete is. I need to update it with the buff that he got in the two patches ago, but still, it's. What buff did he get? What buff did he get? Oh, okay. So, Jab is one frame faster, so instead of being frame five, it's frame four. Okay. Uh, up till is three. Oh, he got the spike hitbox in the down air. Yeah, that sucks. He didn't want to go that. Either. He didn't even there. He just down aired again. I sometimes you just want to go for down air and air, but he just sometimes he's just waiting. I guess he's just afraid. No, I mean LTB got the. He did the down throw um, down air, but like he just down aired again instead of nearing after the down air. Sometimes you want to go for the extra damage if they are not like air dodging immediately. Uh, however, Pokemon Trainer has a frame one Pokemon switch, so if you want to go for extra is through and X Helix just you know he's just gone. Gone. My LTB. So I was, as I was saying, Optil. Look at this edge guarding. Optil had. What are we gonna get? Uh, LTB uh, just retreats. Retreats. So he's missing one of the main uh, problem. I mean, the main tools that it has against Pokemon Trainer is edge guarding. You actually want to go there and do something about it. And he's just standing standing the ledge. I know it's scary because you know oh my God. going up the ledge is scary. So you shouldn't <laughs> be afraid when you are beat. So. <coughs> at any point, so yeah, Optil is uh, ends three frames faster, so instead of being uh, instead of being a move that is like, oh <gasps> boy, there's a spike going, sending poor LTV to hell. That's so sad. Man, you can't say that on the stream. I can, uh, heck. You, yeah, sending to it the to the Abbey, to, to the travel round. To darn. To darn, okay, <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay, there. so, um, so I was saying, instead of being a move that uh, has like, 40, 40 frames. Oh of my god. Oh, he's trying to go for it. No. I thought he. I, I swear he was going to flame the uh, flare blitz into the side. What the? No. Oh, well, he tried to go for the spike, but he got the stage back instead, and that's going to. Yeah, it works. That's going to work. If he can play perfectly this talk, he's probably going. He can bring it back. Man, I never realized how slow this character plays. Pit or Pokemon Trainer? Pit. Yeah, he plays super slow. Man, I want to see more side Bs. No, you don't side B. Unless you are extremely sure they're going to commit to either an offensive <coughs> option. <coughs> Or a landing option. What about a spot dodge? So you can catch rolls with it. The you problem. Okay, rolls. so this is the problem. Sometimes the side B is going to activate on your invincibility. Oh yeah. So you just go. You just punch the air, and then you get punished. Right? Yeah, I forget so about that. If they get spot dodge, you just jab. <laughs> LTB is. I think. I think we can call it quits on this one. I think. Yeah, I don't think LTB is going to make it. But I mean, shut up. I mean, one of the few people. I mean, but who knows? We could. We could be sitting here for another two minutes because. It, I mean, Pete Back has. Air? Yeah, even Sherizard can have some issues killing Pete if he DIs properly. So, overall, you don't know. Bro. We can be here for like two more minutes. Yeah. He's just. Overall, yeah. So, uh, stage control. down till ends like uh, three frame faster. Uh, oh my god. Now is when you start spamming arrows? <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? You needed to do that like 30 minutes ago. Yeah, right? <gasps> oh, that almost hit. Backer. No, backer. You're side backer, 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 You're not backer, there. backer. There you go. I, saw, I told you. I, he should have side beat earlier. No, he, he, was, he was just like trying to jump away from him. He should have done short hop side B. No, he needed to use. Oh, wait, I think I play. He needed to do full hop. Do I play? Upper. So. I need you to go play. Okay, but Yasuo so, has my. So 